So here we have all the vitamins that they need from the sugargliderschop.co.uk. So we have the brown linseed, we have the acacia gum and all the instructions are on the back as well. But they also give you a sheet which I'll show you. You have the bee pollen, you have the spirulina, one boo high protein and you have the oatmeal. You also need some natural Greek yoghurt and I'll pop that up there so that I can see it and then we'll get the fruit and veg. For my fruit I have two apples and two pears. So it says one tablespoon of brown linseed, three to four tablespoons of water. So I'm doing two batches, so I'm going to do two tablespoons. One, two, and that's the brown linseed. Into some water, I'll just put a little bit too much in there. So we'll let that cool down, so that's that done. And while we're waiting for the eggs to boil, we need 300 gram of veg and 150 gram of fruit. So here I have just over 300 veg, it doesn't matter. Two tappy pear feet. So what I've done is I've put carrots in, peas, and this is sweet potato and butternut squash. And it's 300 veg, and sometimes I'll use celery. It is easier on your blender if you do fresh, but I do usually get a load of sweet potato, butternut squash, carrots, peel and wash and put them in. And then what's left, I do freeze uh, for when they need some more. So that's that. And there's other veg that you can use. You can look up all different sorts of veg. These are the main veg that I use. And I've got my fruit, and I do do um, different fruits as well, but these are just what I'm using today. So I've got my hard boiled egg cooled down. Um, I'm going to put that in. That's my hard boiled egg. So I've chopped me apple and pears up and peeled them and I also use raspberries and blueberries and things like that. Um, mango. I'm going to put this in the blender. That's that in the blender, that's ready for another batch. And there's the egg. Now we're going to go through this. I will need a teaspoon. So it's two tablespoons of one book eye protein. So I'm going to be following this here. Two teaspoons of high protein. And then we will need one teaspoon of bee pollen. A quarter of acacia gum. Quarter of acacia gum, one tablespoon of brown linseed. I'll put that in there. One heaped tablespoon of oatmeal. Oh, I've got a pack that I already opened, so I'll use that one. Use this one first. One heaped tablespoon of oatmeal. A 
half a square away, you know. And then when you see the front table, One tablespoon, that was about, I did do that on that one tablespoon. Uh, one tablespoon natural yogurt. There's that. One peels hard boiled egg. So there we have it. There's your fruit and veg, 300 fruit and veg, and all the vitamins that the truck gliders need. So now we're going to need 150 grams of fruit. So now this is fruit. I've got some blueberries, I haven't got no raspberries. So now we're going to do 150 gram of fruit. Now. So we're going to do some apple, pear. and then we're going to do some blueberries because I haven't got any raspberries so there's that for the fruit it doesn't matter if you go over um, <clears throat> now I'm going to put this in here now and then I'm going to mix it all up And that's one batch done. Now I'm going to mash that and then I'm going to put it all in containers. Now because it's frozen, um, I don't want to break my blender, so I've done tiny little bits at a time and uh, done it that way. So. That's John. I just took some, took it out and done bits, little tiny bits at a time. That's it. It really won't mess up your blender. That's loads better. Yeah, do, do it in little bits if you've got frozen. Put that there because I will be doing a few more batches while I've got everything out I might as well and a load of food and this is what you will end up with give it a good stir I know some people do it into a big mush um, mine turns into a mush when I do fresh but when I do frozen I tend to just do it that like that much and now I'm going to they, well the gliders do have a um, tablespoon a glider one tablespoon per glider. My pots are, these, you can get these from anywhere. I get them in the baby aisle down Tesco. 
and these do tend to one part will do two gliders uh, one part will do two gliders um, and they just down the baby aisle what you put your baby food in so I will now fill these up and then I will freeze them and then that's one batch of food for me gliders and one usually does two gliders and there is plenty left over um, so there's enough in always prefer to give them a little bit more than not enough I don't tend to give my sugar gliders any treats at all um, in the cage because I give them a yogi drop in their toys and I watched on a video all the yogi drop all mounted in the toys and I thought oh, I've got to get that toy out now and, and uh, you know in the little cups what you put in and I've got wash it now but not only because of that, um, I, I just feel it's unhygienic. So I, well, I suppose I do put the dry food. The, I do sometimes put the the dried fruit in. These are diced apple trees. The, these are fine, but I don't. The yogi drops. I think you should keep keep the yogi drops. I think you should keep for yourself for a bonding with your sugar glider. Um, but I do not give them any treats until this is gone. This goes in first and they eat this first and then they may get some treats later. And now and again I might put hide some of these in the cage, just the dried treats. Yeah, save your yogi drops for bonding. And I also I can hear my gliders from in the kitchen, I can. I can. I don't know why, my house. I can hear them banging. I know when they're up. And I always take the food up when they're up. And they always see me putting the food in, in the cage. And they're waiting for me. Um, it's just so that they can associate you with food. Whereas if you've already got it in the cage before they wake up, they'll never associate you with any goodies. I'll show you what else I've got as well, what I brought off the glider shop. Um, what I do put in for them sometimes. It does come in handy, you know, in case you run out of mush and all that. Sometimes when I run out of mush and then I have to pull... Um, I still I still pull the veggies out and put them in um, a barrel for them, um, and without I put if I run out of mush, I will just put a few carrots in in the barrel, a few potatoes, a little bit of fruit, and I will just put that in and it won't be mashed and it won't have none of the vitamins in. But I also have this off the uh, sugar glider shop as well which you can also put bit, bits in for them. Treat on, you know, it's like, of course we um, have three meals a day and then it's nice to have some little treats to munch on as well, isn't it? So I see it anyway. Well, this is their main diet. But they do get other things as well, not just this, so. But this does do quite a lot there. So we'll get some more. So there's one batch done. Now I'm going to make a few more batches while everything's out and I've got everything at, at hand. Now these will go straight in the freezer now and then I'll pull them out 
a um, couple of hours before I know when my gliders are going to wake up so that they defrost for them and then I just open them and then they can all eat it and also don't forget um, to give them every, I think it's I usually do it on weekends so I don't forget I usually start Friday Saturday or Saturday and Sunday they will need calcium um, I've got two lots of calcium this is um, Glidocal but I have heard that the calcium and magnesium is better because that helps them digest it better um, these are all off the sugar glider shop everything the old food wise is off there this, this needs to be given to them twice a week um, like I said I always do mine at weekend and then I'll never get mixed up and I'll, I'll never forget when I've got give it to I do also buy monkey biscuits as well these are for the teeth to munch on and I do get quite a lot of stuff from the shrug glider shop for treats as well but I do do get treats occasionally but I do throw one of those in every now and again as well So here's my second batch, a little bit of a different consistency because my potatoes are defrosted that little bit more. Um, so you, you can just get it to whatever consistency you like it or want it, it doesn't really matter. I mean like I said, if I run out I just chop a potato up for them and chop them some fruit up and they use their hands and pick it up and eat it. So. Um, so yeah, this is my second lot now. So this should do me sugar gliders for quite a while now. So yes, and they are two lots. And there they are, all in the freezer, waiting to be defrosted just before they need them.